and tell me that um, the money that you have in the start and have that in the park. Okay. Yeah, the comparison to the city council said the city park is really kind of yeah. nice of them. I'm talking to them that the Lynn County that they did give something to our park system and yeah. make it available to the city. Um, mm -hmm. Any other questions? Excuse me. Excuse me. I had some things to say. Please. You guys are making a decision on my financial life here, and I have not been able to plead a case here. You don't have any control over that, Lisa. That's you do. You. You've had control over for four years. It's up to you. I have not been getting that assistance for four years, Don. Not at all. No, and I, I am requesting. Don, you do have total control. Your counsel. Anne, would you please sit down so we can discuss this? You have allowed deadlines continuously. You have allowed property to be on the buyout a year after the deadline. I did not get notice. I swear to God, the first notice I received was when my mortgage company called me in June. You do have the. You do have this is. Uh, you do have the power. Council sets policy. There have been amendments and amendments and change orders for people who have recommended it. On April 27th, in the flood committee meeting, you guys passed allowing 111 properties to be on the buyout list nearly a year after the deadline. One of them was yours, John. I've numerous answers back to your emails regarding this, and I have nothing further to say about it, and I have no control over it. It's state and the council set the agenda, and it is a done deal. Don, these funds are coming from lost, and you have every power. Council has every power to approve. The council has the power, and I, it's over. I am, I am asking for an appeal. Just for four months, this adds up to $1,700. And by the time my buyout's over, it only nets to fourteen hundred dollars, Don. You do not and have a vote in the council to change our what our what we've well, already voted on. Well, for, well, you change for everybody else, Don. That's my point. Um, and even Lisa, and I'm even, not going to talk to you about it anymore. We've already told well, you. Well, okay, then let me talk. On, no, in, the on June, is adjourned. on June, well, then I'm talking to you as a person, and these people no, can I'm listen. Done. In June 24th, Cedar Rapids asked the state and feds to bend rules for redevelopment. It's okay for you to ask for bent rules. We have a whole list of waivers that the state requested from the feds. This interim mortgage assistance is with lost money. You are counsel and you're the one who sets policy. So you do have the power to change that. That's what counsel does. March 27th, you, it accepted, was very rude. you accepted a deadline to expand the Jumpstart Recovery Agreement to increase the funds and change the deadline. The resolution does not state a deadline. It says hardship appeals received prior to April 1st will be presented for consideration by the Flood Recovery Meeting of the City Council for recommendation. The City Council should have an opportunity to act on hardship appeals that are recommended by the flood committee meeting. It doesn't say that there is a deadline. It doesn't give a process as to what would happen if an appeal was received April, after April 1st. It does not come right out and say there is a deadline. So there is not a deadline stated at all. And that's what the resolution says. I, the first time I knew about this was the day after my mortgage company called me. I don't lie. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm a very honest person. Anyone who knows me knows that if I had received that letter and saw it, that I am a proactive person and I would not have waited four months to act on this. You accept appeals all the time for after deadline. 111 properties on April 27th in this committee, one of which is yours, Don Carr. You got to approve almost a year after the deadline for an acquisition for the city council to use my tax money to acquire your property. March 14th, the council approved buying five parcels after the program deadline, which ended June 2011. June 30th, 2011,
the program deadline to register properties for the ballot for the voluntary acquisition of the program. That was the deadline. You have since approved about 150 properties to act, to uh, in, be involved in this deadline after the deadline because the property owners request is to be included in the following parcel into the voluntary acquisition program. April 10, 2012, there was another permission by the council to register five more properties. This is just through April that I have. There have been many, many other properties that council has passed and the select committee has passed to be sold after the deadline was made June 30th, 2012. I'm not asking for anything more than anyone else gets in this city. If I had known about the appeal, I would have presented the appeal and I would at this time be receiving the appeal. So I'm not asking for any more than had I known about the appeal process. I'm not asking for any more other than that you accept this appeal. Are you for people antisocial? What's going on here? For four months of interim mortgage assistance. Because of this deadline, I have had to go back since December 10, 2010 and reallocate funds so that my es I have enough in my escrow to pay for my property taxes this month, which are due September 1st. Because I've had to go back and reallocate funds from December 10, 2010 in order to be able to pay my property taxes, the mortgage issue is lasting even longer. If you contact Pat Roberts, there are, we're spending several weeks trying to get the mortgage issue taken care of. One, because Affordable Housing Network made a mistake. And two, because my city mortgage company made a mistake. Same thing to you we said before. We're following council policy. These are very Mr. many. Let these me, are very me, many representations of when let you amend it. Council policy. This is discrimination. This is discrimination. This is discrimination. This and that's all I have to say about it. This is a, this is total discrimination. The way that she was treated in this meeting. Yeah, I thought you were going to open up the meeting for questions. That didn't happen. And that's where we're at. But first the of best, all, first of everybody all, else gets all these extensions and, the and exceptions. First, the Lisa's the only one that hits the news. Because, that's because you are forcing me into a corner to accept the first offer because you know I am hurting with trying to make my mortgage payment. And I am just asking for the same amount of time I would have asked for if there was an appeal. Just four months. We're following Which, council policy and... But you have I mean, not. You guys, you you guys are not following you don't policy. Follow council policy. You guys are just making up you rules as you go along, and you're part of it. The deadline for acquisition was June 30th, 2011. You have since approved 150 properties to be acquired since that deadline. That guy was over jumpstart at the state level, and now he's here to clean up his mess. And this was all, this interim mortgage assistance is all local. Why isn't this buyout done? It's been four years. Why isn't it done? This, this, this was all, um. Oh, I'm starting to get upset. That was a mess. Oh, but Don Carr's property can go up for. Oh, sure. A year after the Yeah, deadline. a year after the deadline. After the deadline. Uh, he approved himself to be able to acquire, and it's, and it's up to 150 properties that they're acquiring after the deadline since they request. Had this I been is, able, this is upsetting. had I known about this appeal process and the ending of Had the I known program, they were just going to treat you that way, I would have, I would have. Did you see that, Eric? Yeah, I thought Don said that he's not letting anybody talk right at this moment, right. and then he didn't even allow anybody to talk well, after. Well, he knows I had my, my documentation. Sure they and did. this is only a fraction of the documentation. So um, I will have to get creative on resolving this problem another way. Yeah, call the Associated Press. <laughs> Maybe they they'll, they'll cover you coast. supposedly accusing, like, like uh, hitting somebody, but they won't cover the fact that they won't well, give you your buyout. I didn't even hit anybody either. This one, that no, was that's false. what I'm saying. Yeah, I said false. alleged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you did. But, but what, what my point is... I would like to see where where did this happen? I want to know where that happened. And they made sure it was covered coast to coast. Where did the alleged assault happen? 
When? Where? Oh, in this building. I feel bad. Here. Where in this building? I didn't even get to talk. Oh, I still talk. Well, you did, but... Really here, I'm very upset about this. We need to just get our buyout done. Uh, I'm change the focus a little bit.